Hi everybody, welcome to this video about Utilization Dashboard, one of our newest features that will be released next week, July 1st. Here to tell you all about it is Katie Steindl, Product Manager for this feature. Katie? Thank you, Sherry. I'm very excited to talk to you today about Utilization Dashboard. This feature will allow you to understand the usage of your patient portal by your patients, but also how well your providers and staff are communicating and responding to patients' requests and questions. It provides real-time data. It's up to the day totals of all the different types of solutions used in your patient portal by your patients and staff. Today I'll be talking about the components of the dashboard, which include summary data and also totals of each of the solutions that are offered in the patient portal. I'll also be talking a little bit about the different types of functionality in the report, time period filtering and printing. Finally, I'll talk about how to access the dashboard before I go to a live demonstration of the dashboard. So the summary data is at the top of the dashboard and it includes the total portal patients up to the day that are using your portal. This includes the total number who have activated from an invitation and those patients who have created an account. So it's the total number of registered patients on your portal. We also have a pie chart to show the breakdown in percentages of those who have created an account versus those who have activated via invitation. We also show a bar chart in the summary section and it shows the total number of invited patients, those who have activated from invitation, and those who have created an account for each of the time periods shown. You can see that there's a filter above this bar chart that shows quarters, months, weeks, and days. Currently, we're looking at months, but you can easily click on one of the buttons to switch the view to see the last 12 quarters, the last 12 weeks, the last 12 days. And so the invited, activated, and patients created in an account would be shown for those time periods. In the solutions area of the report, we show totals for each of the solutions. The first four are the payment totals. And we show the four types of payments that are offered via the portal. The first is online bill pay transactions. The second is budget plan transactions. The third is virtual card swiper transactions. And the fourth is pay now transactions. We show a total of all the, the 12 time periods shown on the right. And we also show a total dollar figure for those 12 time periods. And then on the right-hand side are bars to indicate how many transactions have occurred in that time period. And of course, this can be filtered to look at quarters, days, and weeks as well. But it's important to know that the totals on the left represent the current time period you have the report filtered to. So if we had the report filtered to quarters, it would be the total for those 12 quarters. The next part of the report is related to meaningful use requirements. We show secure messages sent by the patient, and these include any messages sent regarding appointment requests, ask a staff questions, prescription renewal requests, and any replies to secure message, messages sent from the practice to the patient. We also show the view, download, or transmit measure, and this represents any time that a patient views, downloads, or transmits a CCD, a continuity of care document from the practice. You can see that the data starts on January 2014 in this example. That is the first day in which we, or the first month in which we started collecting this data. It's important to know that these meaningful use related totals are good, in, good indicators of how well, how well you're doing on these measures for your practice, but they're not to be used for attestation. We're not providing the detail needed in terms of provider, patient, 
and the correct time periods for doing attestation directly from this report. You should use your EHR system for um, attestation. The next piece of information shows secure messages from the practice. And this includes any replies that practice staff or providers make in terms of appointments, prescription renewals, ask a staff questions, bill pay submissions, any secure messages sent by the practice, whether they be generic or bulk messages. It also includes the CCD messages sent. So those are messages that include a continuity of care document. So any communication, secure communication from the staff or provider to the patient is tracked in this measure. It also includes any message sent via the practice portal or via an integration channel from your PM or EHR system. So it's every message from the practice to the patient. Finally, the dashboard shows the other solution totals that we offer in the patient portal. These include total ask a staff questions asked by patients, total forms completed by patients, Partial forms are not included. These are total form, uh, forms that have completely com been completed by patients. Total prescription renewals requests and total appointment requests made by patients. Again, the bar chart, bars on the right-hand side of the report can be filtered to look at quarters, months, weeks, and days. And in this case, it's showing quarters. The totals on the left represent the totals shown for all 12 quarters in this case. I talked a little bit about the fact that you can filter by time periods. There are two areas where you can do this in the report and it affects the whole report. So you can click on quarters, weeks, days, or months. We default to months. There are also tool tips that show the description, a detailed description of each measure. The little eye icons after each of the measure totals can be, um, if you hover your mouse over it, a little tooltip will show, and there's a complete description of what that measure indicates. And finally, you can print the report. There's an icon and link in the upper right-hand corner of the dashboard. If you click on Print Report, you will get a printout of the current view of the report. So if you have filtered the report to quarters, for example, you would see all of the data in terms of quarters in your print output. And on the last page of the report printout, we include all of the tooltip descriptions for each of the measures. That way, if you were sharing the report with someone else and there was a question about what one of the measures represented, you could easily refer to that last page to see the description. And of course, once you know it, you can not print that last page. Finally, you probably want to know how to access this dashboard. Well, in SiteGen, on the main page, there is a link to Utilization Dashboards in the lower left-hand corner under the area labeled Reports. So you'll need access to SiteGen. Once you log in, you'll reach the home page, and on the lower left-hand corner, you'll see this link. Clicking on this link will open up your dashboard. Now I'm going to show a demo of, the, of a live report. So you can see the top of this shows the summary section that I outlined before. Total portal patients is shown in the left hand side with that bar chart. If for example your practice does not uh, allow creating an account by the patient, but only from activating via invitation. There's a slightly different view of the top of this report where we indicate how many patients have activated via invitation out of the total number of invitations. We also show how many um, patients have registered this month, how many have registered in May, and how many have registered in April. So this month, last month, and the month before. The bar chart, as I talked about before, is shown right below that and indicates invited patients, activated patients, 
and patients who created an account. You can roll over all of these bars to see the actual number of patients who are represented in each of the bars. And as I said before, you can filter to look at a different time period. Quarters, months, weeks, and days. I'll just click on a few of these to show you. So there was no activity on June, very little activity on June 21st, quite a bit on June 16th. And I bet you these are weekends, <laughs> if I had to guess, um, and these are the weeks. I'm gonna go back to months. And I'll scroll down the report to show the solutions by, or the totals by solution. Here are the four payment solutions, online bill pay, budget plan transactions, virtual card swiper transactions, and pay now transactions. You can see that this particular practice does not have any data for two of the payment types. That's because they're not using them yet. Pay now, incidentally, for those that don't know, is a way for patients to pay their bills without directly logging into the portal. They don't have to have an account or they don't need to log in. They can do it right from your home page of the patient portal. And there'll be a webinar. Yep, there'll be a webinar next week on that, but since you may be watching this at any time, there will also be a recording of that webinar available on the Medfusion slash webinars page. Thanks. I talked before about how these totals on the left are representing the total for the view you're looking at now, so it's the, t the total of the 12 months in this case over on the right. If you hover over these bars, you can see the total number of transactions. We're also adding the total dollar for that particular month, and you'll get that next week. And then, of course, the total dollar figure that's represented in those 12 time periods. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is hovering over the I is bringing up that tooltip, the sum of all budget payments made by patients, not including refunds or voids. Note this number was not captured prior to 1-1-2014. So that will give you a very good description of what's included in each measure. Scrolling down now, you can also see the secure messages sent by patient, the view, download, or transmit. Obviously, this practice started sending CCDs in April. And finally, the total ask a staff questions, total forms completed, total prescription renewals requested, and total appointments requested. And again, hovering over the bars, you'll see the, the individual data or the tooltip for the description. One other thing I wanted to mention is that the that only complete time periods are included in the report. So for example, June is not quite over yet. We don't include June until it's complete. Same thing for quarters, months, and days. And I believe that wraps up my demo and this re recording, this video. Let me ask one quick question that people may have. Mm -hmm. If they don't have access or don't know if they have access to SiteGen, can they call our customer care number? Absolutely. Um, just to let you know, our, you can call customer care at any time with any questions about the report or other issues. And definitely to access SiteGen, the number is 1-877-599-5123. You can use option one. And just as a reminder, we will be releasing this utilization dashboard to you next week during the week of July 1st.